even into the billions, some of these mega batteries. Yeah. Here in Australia, people are saying we have this, we have too much solar. That's what some of the press are saying. But I, I see it. I see Australia becoming like California within a short period of time where <laughs> all of a sudden we have too much solar and I have, I'm overproducing massively on yep. my solar. And all yep. of a sudden we store that solar and then California, yep. 6 to 10 p.m., number one yep. source of energy is batteries. Yep. And it's like free energy, like you said. And I think Tony Sieber mentions 200%. We need to build 200%. I don't know if that people agree with that, but that's what he mm-hmm. says, which then makes us a superpower. We have 100% excess energy 98% mm-hmm. of the time. Mm-hmm. What do we do with all that extra energy? Mm-hmm. What do we do with it? What's the best use of all that extra energy? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, well, I've, I've thought about this needs- so many times. What we, what do we do with all this extra? And obviously, governments are saying, well, "Well, we just turned it into hydrogen. That's their solution." What are your thoughts on that? I think we'll probably find better uses than than producing hydrogen for the excess energy. <laughs> Personally, um, as I've mentioned earlier, we, we're probably going to enter an era of hyper abundance as a yeah. species, and I think our needs for energy are actually going to increase dramatically. They're not going to be needs in terms of it's essential to get by. We're kind of at that point already. We're, we're meeting our needs. Yeah. But if there's a point where we have just an absolute surplus of energy, we will find ways to use that. And I don't think it's going to be producing hydrogen. Although, in fairness, at some point over the long term, there will be a use case when you have so much energy, you don't know what to do with it. You can produce hydrogen, which is extremely energy inefficient in terms of the it production is. process. Because there will be some use cases, gigantic ships at sea and maybe some planes where it may make sense. But I think we're probably going to find a lot better uses for surplus energy than hydrogen production. On the what's whole. the new what's the new cheap EV? What do you mean? From Tesla. What's it? What, what is it well, going to be? You know, probably... They're saying two models, right? In next year. So well, I don't soon. know if they've specifically said how many models. There's sort of rumors and hearsay. Sure. But I personally expect that the RoboTaxi, dedicated RoboTaxi unveiled uh, less than a month from now, there's going to be a vehicle platform. That's the modular manufacturing system, the unboxed right. system. Yeah. And I think Tesla's going to develop a sedan and a compact SUV on that same platform, maybe a few variations, especially for compact SUV globally. And they're probably going to be able to produce those things over long term for about 18, 19 grand, sell them for around 25, decent profit. Um, but I think Tesla's in a transitional period where they may be starting to focus more on robo taxis and miles disrupted as opposed yeah. to vehicles sold to consumers. So yeah. honestly, if Tesla said, oh, fuck it, we changed our mind about the cheaper vehicle, we're just going to pump robo taxis like crazy and crank them out everywhere, I'd be totally fine with that. Um, but, but Tesla yeah. are saying that they're going to produce these cheap new, cheaper new vehicles soon, within months. Oh, the interesting On the same yeah, production lines. About. On yeah. the same production. Yeah. Uh, do you, I, my, my guess is that it's the same car, just stripped down. Yeah, no. that's my expectation too. I didn't realize that's what you meant. Yeah, the, the interim yeah. vehicles, I think before the next gen vehicle with a much lower cost, I think yeah. that they're going to be the three and the Y, but implementing the modular manufacturing systems at least in part from what they've sort of developed for the next gen vehicle. To reduce the cost of producing those vehicles. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Model 3 and Model Y are already killer products. And if they can implement cost savings that drive the cost down 10, 15, 20% yeah. on those, like it'd be a no brainer not to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. 